Hello, my name's Alex Downs, and this is my 1980 Mark 1 Golf uh, with a PD130 engine swap. I uh, got into cars from quite a young age, always been car obsessed, and I got that from my dad. Um, from ever since I can remember, he's always bought and sold, had classic cars, bit of a wheeler dealer. I really started to get into cars when I started going to shows with my best friend Jack and his dad. Uh, doing mainly air cool Volkswagen shows. So I'm 26 and I'm on my 29th car. Um, it's a little bit of an addiction, uh, but this is the longest that I've ever owned a car and the most effort I've ever put into a car. Um, but yeah, I've had a stringer, anything from Volvo 340s, uh, 190 Mercedes, Mark II Polo, uh, Mazda MX-5, a very wide range of taste in cars um, but yeah normally very low and very stupid uh, there's a good story behind why I ended up with this Mark 1 Golf uh, I had a Mark 2 Golf previous to this I had huge plans for it really for it to go as far as what this one has and unfortunately it was written off by an uninsured driver so one night I stayed late at work to do some work on it and yeah that was the end of that uh, I've been saving for months and months and months for I bought a set of complimentary wheels for it and air suspension um, and the money that I'd saved up I bought this shell from, from who was at the time my boss uh, and that's where it all started the addiction. When I did buy the car from John um, it was he bought it as a parts car it, it was bought because it's an early spec Mark 1 Golf um, so he bought it for the rear panel and other rare features that are on the car. So having taken the, part of car, uh, the car apart, uh, he then realised that it was too good, too rare to use as a donor car uh, and started the restoration. Basically it was stripped, but it was just an absolute bare shell that had a couple of pieces of welding in it and that was pretty much it. Uh, and then yeah, from then on decided to build my dream car. Obviously I've had quite a lot of seat time in the car and built a family of friends um, that we formed Drivers Collection Club from. Um, so every time we go out there's something happens that's absolutely like we're all such good friends there's always things that happen that are entertaining. Um, but I think the ones that and anybody who's got an old car will tell you is when they're happening they're the worst thing that's happening but then when you look back at it they're the most interesting funny things so last year on the way back we were at fitted and I was fortunate to have like a podium um, and that meant that I was the last out and being the last out it was like nine o'clock at night it was fair enough all right come out and it was like the worst thunderstorm you've ever seen in your entire life it was horrendous the wipers were literally non-existent they're terrible the lights are almost non-existent they're absolutely terrible and I had to drive over at Snake Pass to get home and the, we had all the windows down on the car because there's no blowers in the car, it was steaming up. My poor girlfriend Jay, she's got every coat on you've ever seen in your life all wrapped up and just in this steamed Mark 1 Golf and we're doing like 20 mile an hour through all flooded roads and everything all the way back. It was the worst journey of my life but I suppose it's a story to tell isn't it so or when it broke down on M1 in traffic. I thought it'd be really cool and air it out in traffic after there'd been a crash on M1. I'm like, yeah, cool, air my car out on M1, and then it wouldn't start. <laughs> so it was like stuck in the middle of M1, and we had to bump it. <laughs> yeah, that probably weren't wisest thing I've ever done. <laughs> but that, yeah, that's 